talking, I guess it was earlier in the week, about how much you've bought in, how much you've developed, how much you've emerged as a leader on this team. Could you just kind of expound on that? What, what's happened with, to make you, you know, as optimistic and positive as you've been? Well, you know, my life in um, college basketball is going to you know, be forever. So, you know, rather start later. Um, you know, I just figure I'll buy in now. And, you know, what he really asked of me is to become a vocal leader for the team and lead by example. And, challenged me and um, I'm just stepping up to the challenge. One of the first things he did was move you off the ball to because you're one of the few shooters on this team that can make shots on a regular basis and you take into that like what was the evolution of that for you as far as playing off the ball and making shots and being a shooter when they need you to be? Uh, well um, if you watch the continuity and the flow of uh, current Kermit's offense um, I'm off the ball but a lot of the times I'm all also on the ball making a lot of the decisions so it's really a bunch of combo guards on the floor and, uh, you know, when he told me I was going to play predominantly off the ball, you know, I, I took the challenge once again. And, you know, he's been coaching for almost more than twice my age, so he, he knows better than I do. And, you know, I take his word for it, and I just go out there and work hard. Looks sure. like the lights kind of come on for Blake in the last two games this week. Uh, what, what have you seen in his development? Um, just taking every day more seriously. Um, even yesterday in practice, he was shooting the ball just like he was today, and the day before that, shooting the ball just like he was. When you do things like that, um, it doesn't make it as out of the ordinary when you're shooting the ball pretty well in the game. So uh, we practice hard, and uh, we play even harder. What do you think it does for you guys if, if y'all get more consistent scoring from that four? Um, it just expands the floor a little bit just because, um, like, Blake and KJ, they can uh, stretch you out, and they can also play you down in the post. So it causes matchup problems, and, um, you know, it's just part of our offense. Curtis talked about you guys trying to keep Dom up. It looked like at one point in that second half, he got an offensive rebound and kicked it back down to you, made it three, spurred a timeout. It looked like you went over there pretty quickly and kind of said something to him. Is that something you all consciously do to try to, I guess, keep his, keep him positive and keep him going? Well, of course, you know, whenever anybody on the team makes a play, you know, we're always, you know, uh, being, uh, giving encur encouragement. But um, especially Dom, um, you know, me and him have a pretty special relationship. Just, you know, he, big man in the point guard, um, you know, he makes a play for me, I'm just going to go and thank him. I make a play for him, he does the same for me.